what's going on? This is Brown with Man's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. And in this video, I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, June 5th, 2019. If this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic book and pop culture related videos. So please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so that way you'll be notified every time a new video drops on my channel. Real quick, before we get into the picks this week, I want to give a huge shout out to my newest Patreon member, Sarah Hymo. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. And now let's get into the picks. Kicking off the week, I have Avengers of the Super Sons number 11. This is the penultimate issue for this series. Also, Rex has a brand new army and he's opened a portal to Earth. But John Kent and Damian Wayne have a cybernetic cowboy of their own. And can they stop Rex in time? Looks to be a fun issue. I like this just for reading purposes only, so I'm gonna continue to pick this up. Next, we have Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, issue number two. Now, if you saw on the channel, the first issue released the first appearance of The Laughing Man. Great issue, recommend you picking that up. This continues that storyline. Really looking forward to issue number two. There's gonna be two different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Freddie Williams. There's also a regular price variant by Kevin Eastman. Next, we have Batman number 72. Now, it was recently announced that Tom King will be finishing his run early, but he is building up to his big story arc starting in 75 that's going to change Batman the Dark Knight as we know it forever from what they're telling us. There's a lot of people out there that aren't liking Tom King's Batman run. I tend to be on the other side of that. I do like Tom King's running. There's been some issues that I haven't liked, but for the most part, might, might just be because I'm a huge fan of Batman, so I read it regardless. But regular David Finch cover, then there's a regular priced Michael Golden variant. Next up, we have DC Comics Deceased number two. This is gonna have three different covers for it. There's a regular Lionel Francis U cover, a regular priced Francesco Matina variant, and a regular priced Yasmin Putri horror homage variant. Now, if you've watched some of our CBS at Bolo shows, we talk about the horror movie variants and why we think those are great covers to pick up. Those covers have crossover appeal, horror movie fans and comic book fans might want those, especially later on down the line if those copies dry up in the stores. I myself like the Matina cover, but I'm gonna pick up the Matina and the horror movie variant this week. Next, we have Deathstroke number 44. This starts the Deathstroke Rest in Peace story arc. Deathstroke is dead. And at his funeral, it gets crashed by none other than the Legion of Doom. He's gonna have a regular cover by Giuseppe Camicoli. There's also a regular price variant to this by Riccardo Federici. Justice League number 25. This wraps up the Sixth Dimension story arc. And with it, Superman takes on the World Forger. There's gonna have two different covers for it. There's a regular Jorge Menes cover. There's also a regular price Jim Chung variant. And rounding out DC comic picks this week, I have Young Justice number six. I love this. Naomi gets all the hype, but to me right now, my favorite Brian Michael Bendis story with DC Comics is Young Justice. In this issue, we have the secret of Jim World starting to unlock themselves, but it comes a little too late for the rest of the Young Justice squad to, to help Amethyst. This is gonna have a regular John Timms cover. There's also a regular priced variant for it as well. So I tend to like the variant cover for this, so I'm gonna be picking up the cover by Ramon Villalobos. Moving on over to Image, we have a brand new series from Image Comics called Thumbs Number One, and it describes itself as social network meets Blade Runner. The solicit reads as imagine if Mark Zuckerberg raised his own army of tech-obsessed teens and directed them to take on the government. Looks like a fantastic first issue, so I'm gonna be picking this up. Next up this week from Image, we have Walking Dead number 192. This is where we're gonna find out if Rick actually died or not. There's gonna be a regular cover. There's also a blank variant for this, which is regular priced, so be on the lookout for that as well. Moving on over to Marvel Comics. They have a huge title coming out, and since it's the first, you know it's got a lot of covers for it, and I'm talking about Black Cat number one. One thing I do like about this is J. Scott Campbell, known for Spider-Man covers, huge following. He's doing the regular cover A's for this, so I really enjoy that because you get to buy in at J. Scott Campbell covers on the low end, but for speculators out there, people want those high ratio incentives, and you're in luck because Marvel always has in this. You got the regular J. Scott Campbell cover. You got a regular price Scotty Young variant, regular price Travel Foreman variant. There's a regular price Art Germ variant, regular price Blank variant. There's an incentive Game variant. There's an incentive Chris Anka variant. There's an incentive Phil Noto variant. There's an incentive Terry Dotson Hidden Gem variant. There's an incentive Art Germ Virgin variant and an incentive J. Scott Campbell Virgin variant. So like I said, new series from Marvel, 
big character with Black Cat. So of course, Marvel puts a bunch of covers out there. Just remember, buy what you like, and you can never go wrong. Next up this week, we have Captain Marvel number six. I don't have all the covers in here, and I'm not gonna talk about all the covers or the story, but what I do have in here is the incentive added Grenade variant. I love this cover. I'm not too keen on the whole Captain Marvel storyline, all the reboot they've been having, but I do love Addy Grenov art, so I definitely want to pick up this incentive variant. So there's two different incentives. Both are Addy Grenov. One has the trade dress, and one of them is a virgin cover. For those that might be wondering, trade dress has the title and the logos and everything, where a virgin cover is just the art by itself. There's no other writing or logos on the cover. And I say that because some people say, well, what's virgin covers? That mean it's never been read. No, the virgin cover is exactly that. It's just the art by itself on the cover of the comic book. I really like this Addy Granoff incentive. If I can, I'm gonna get the virgin variant for it. In fact, I'm gonna make that my pick of the week. Next up, we have Deadpool number 13. This is another one I have in here, mostly just for the cover art. I actually like the regular cover and the variant on this one. The regular cover is a gorgeous Nick Klein piece, as you can see on the screen right now. But I also like the variant on this, which is, of course, by Addy Granov again. But this time, it's regular price. It's not going to cost you, you know, 60 bucks, 100 bucks, 50 bucks, wherever the 1 in 50s and further on incentives from the previous issue I just talked about are. Next up, we have Savage Avengers number two. In this issue, the hand teams up with the Wizards of the Hyborian Age to summon a death god from hell. This is gonna have five different covers for it. There's a regular David Finch cover, a regular price Marvel's 25th tribute variant, a regular price Mike Diodato Jr. variant, there's an incentive Nick Bradshaw variant, and an incentive Simone Bianchi variant. Next up, we have Tony Stark Iron Man number 12. Now, I really like the Alexander Lozano covers that have been on this, but the cover I like on this issue is the Battle Lines variant. On my previous videos and on the Bolo Show, we talked about how those Battle Line variants might be sleeper picks down the road, but this one I like just for the art and I'm happy to add it to my collection. War of the Realms number five. I haven't been able to keep up with the tie-ins, but I have been keeping up with the main story. It tends to be hit or miss. I've heard people really like it. I heard people don't really like it. I myself have really been enjoying the story, but I tend to always like stories written by Jason Aaron, especially his Thor run. So this issue is gonna have seven different covers for it. There's a regular Arthur Adams cover. There's a regular price Pepe Loraz Young Guns variant. Regular price connecting variant by Giuseppe Comancoli. There's an international variant by David Yarden. There's a one in 10 incentive variant by Victor Hugo. Love that Spider-Man with the hammer. I really think those Victor Hugo variants are gonna be sleeper picks as well. Classic art. There might be a lot of them out there, but just as a collector for one, the Daredevil, the Thor, and this Spider-Man with the hammer, those are all nice covers. One in 10, they're not gonna cost you too much, so they're easy to add to your collection. There's also an incentive variant by Mark Teixeira, and of course, there's the incentive black and white Arthur Adams variant. Now, if there's one tie-in book for, for War of the Realms that I do recommend buying, it's definitely New Agents of Atlas, and issue number three of New Agents of Atlas comes out this week, so definitely be on the lookout for that, and definitely pick it up if you can find it. There's a regular cover, and there's a one in 25 incentive variant. This is crossed over to the comic community. It's already hitting mainstream media about how Marvel's including diversity in comics. For once, it seems to be organic of diversity. It's not shoved down your throat. Storyline fits. Been loving these issues, so definitely pick it up if you can. Getting into Independence, the first comic I'm liking for Independence this week is Boogly Heads number one. That's right, this comes from an Instagram star, Gus Fink. It's moving over to Devil's Due Publishing, and I like this. It's an all-ages book, but it looks like a fun read, so I'm definitely adding it to my pull list this week. Next, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer number four. Four. Now, if you watched our interview on this channel with Arun Singh, the VP of marketing for Boom Studios, he told us all about the Buffy universe that they are building over at Boom, and we couldn't be more excited about it. So this looks like an issue that's definitely worth picking up. I'll be honest with you, before that interview, I had no desire to pick up Buffy books, but I've picked it up. I've read the first few issues. I read the first few issues of Angel Zero and Angel One Number One that just came out last week, and I can't say enough about these books. I'm super excited for this story and where it tends to go, so I definitely look forward to picking up issue number five. It is gonna have a few covers for it. There's a regular cover. There's a regular price cover B variant, a regular price Morgan Beam variant, a regular price Becca Carey pre-order variant, a regular price Katie Infante Slayer variant, a regular price Katie Infante Vampire variant. There's an incentive color variant by Yasmin Putri and an incentive black and white variant by Yasmin Putri. Me, if I were to pick it, these up, I would either pick up the regular cover or the Slayer or Vampire variants or one of those Putri variants. And if you haven't 
definitely check out the interview with Arun Singh that we had. I'm gonna put a card up here right now that'll show you just the section of the interview that we had about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And next we have hashtag danger number two. This comes from Ahoy Comics. I think Ahoy Comics has been putting out some really great books lately. I picked up the first issue just for the cover art, but I actually enjoyed the story. So I'm looking to pick this issue up as well. And in this one, they realize that the media likes conflict, so they stage a fake superhero villain fight. So like I said, come for the art, stay for the story, and I'm picking up issue number two. Next, we have category zero number one. This comes from Scout Comics. So I was able to get my hands on an advanced issue of this. Fantastic read. If you are a fan of X-Men, you definitely want to be picking this up. Category zero. Issue number one from Scout Comics. Beautiful story, gorgeous art. Highly recommend you guys pick this up. If you don't see it in your comic book stores, definitely check out scoutcomics.com. Their web store, I'm sure, will have copies. You need to, need to, need to get your hands on this and read it because I can't say enough good things about it. I had a pick of the week, but if I had an independent pick of the week, this is definitely it. So category zero, issue number one. Make sure you read it. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, June 5th. 2019. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. What books aren't in this video that you enjoy reading? Question of the day. How many comic books are in your collection? So guys, click that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. And like I said, click that bell notification so you'll be notified of future videos. This is Brian with Superman's Comics, and I'll see you guys next week. Hey.